Antonio Martinez lost the District 8 seat in 2018 by fewer than 600 votes. He's a staffer for Congressman Juan Vargas and a member of the San Isidro School Board. I feel that our communities in District 8 have been neglected. Martinez says he's running because he thinks District 8 hasn't been given its fair share of city resources, and he can do a better job fixing that inequity. Frankly, I feel that the current person that's there now is not doing the job to get that done. So I feel it's appropriate to or necessary for me to put my hat in. You know, one of the things that um, that I often tell my colleagues is that we've been left behind. Incumbent council member Vivian Moreno agrees her constituents haven't seen the same level of investment as other communities. But she says she's made progress on raising the priority of projects in District 8, like the planned expansion of the San Isidro Transit Center. Here she is at a town hall last April. When I joined um, Sandag board and when I joined MTS, I said this has to be our number one project. Why? Because 12,000 people go on this trolley on any given day. The 2022 election is unlikely to be as close as the 2018 matchup between Moreno and Martinez. They were the only candidates in the June primary, and Moreno won that race by 27 points. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.